power play what was it two minutes into the game um, they get all the momentum right um, and they kind of kept the momentum got another power play goal got a short hand goal so um, you know I gotta find a way to stay a little bit more disciplined um, hopefully the calls are start going our way here soon um, you know, but yeah not a great night for us right but uh, series is one one so um, you know I don't think anyone in this locker room was thought we were going to sweep the Edmonton Oilers. Um, so it's a one-one series. Uh, regroup and uh, uh, come back ready to go uh, on Monday night. Are there things you liked about five on five? Like I know Riley kind of mentioned the power play too. Do you feel like other than giving them power plays, you guys played pretty well? I wouldn't say we were at our best, right? We still took six penalties. So um, whether they're penalties or not, I don't know. Um, I haven't looked at them, but uh, I didn't. Think I think it was too bad, but once you get to three, four, nothing, you're starting to chase it, right? So, um, you know, I think they kind of let off the gas a little bit there in the third, so can't really take a ton out of that that period. But um, yeah, they scored three in the power play in game one, three or two in the power play game one, three tonight. Um, doing a lot of good things on the kill, but they're dynamic, so um, you got to find a way to stay out of the box. And um, like I said, the calls will start going our way if we if we play the right way. It seemed like they were intent on being more physical overall to did you sense that just watching even when you were on the ice in front of the bench um i don't know i think they just wanted to play a better game right mm. and i don't know if that has anything to being more physical i think they just had more urgency and think they wanted to go back to edmonton down 0-2 so um, they brought a good game and um we didn't uh you know i think i think they were saying after game one that they didn't bring their best i think we're saying after game two we didn't really bring much of our best so um like I said, regroup. Series is still one to one. Um, now we got to be good uh, on the road. We've been a good road team all, all year, so uh, got to go out on the road with our work boots on, ready to go. What's gone into that? Being such a good team on the road all year, and obviously it's continued so far in the playoffs. Uh, you know how comfortable does that make you to, to go out and prove you can continue that? Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't think anything rattles us too much. So I don't think this game's gonna uh, make or break this this team. Uh, we'll be ready to go uh, uh, on Monday night. Um, I'm sure we'll roll over our D's, roll over our forwards, and um, you know, I'm not there to uh, show off to anyone. So um, we'll be ready to go. Emotions run high in a game like this. You know, your guys on the ice getting punched by another player. How hard is it to keep those emotions in check? Well, it's frustrating, right? Our ref's standing right there. Um, we only got four guys on the ice; they got five, um, and the refs are just standing there, letting them let them get hit. So it is frustrating for sure. Uh, you never want to see a teammate um, be getting. Kind of suckered down like that, uh, especially one who's, who's stuck up for his teammates uh, all, all year, uh, like he has in Keegan. And um, you could see a little bit of frustration at the end there. I think Hager wanted to do right by, by Coley and, um, you know, make sure that's uh, it's not happening. But um, I would like to see the refs maybe do a little bit better of a job to uh, help out Keegan there.